Valley fever is on the rise in California. The disease is caused by fungus that grows in soil and can infect both people and animals. Our Kara St. Cyr talked with a Danville woman who doesn't know how she was exposed to the fungus and researchers at UC Davis who say dogs may hold the answer to how the spread, the disease is spread. Kylie Couillard couldn't explain her symptoms. Neither could her doctors. I probably had at least five or six hospital stays. Um, the first time was a month, and then after that, it was usually like, you know, two weeks or 10 days. She had nausea, severe bloating, and rashes covering her arms. You know, I didn't really know if I was ever going to have a normal life. Endless Google searches leading to dead ends. Yeah. <laughs> but after several hospital stays and a string of misdiagnoses, a breakthrough. I spent a month there before they figured out that it was valley fever. Valley fever is a fungal infection caused by breathing in spores found in soil. People who farm, work in construction, or live in rural areas are most at risk. How did you come in contact with it? That is the question. Nobody really knows. But rarely, people like Kylie, who do none of these things, may get infected. Good boy. Jane Sykes at UC Davis thinks dogs can help us understand why. Dogs, so we've just finished these studies um, looking at dog test results over the last 10 years. Um, and the interesting thing about this disease is it's actually quite difficult to diagnose. There wasn't a lot of data on dogs getting infected, but Sykes started compiling that information, effectively creating a map of where valley fever spreads. We were uh, finding examples of um, valley fever in places where we wouldn't normally expect it to occur based on human reporting data. Places like Colorado, Idaho, even the Bay Area show traces of the fungus, giving healthcare professionals a plan to educate. This is the medication that I take every day, and um, I'll be taking it for the rest of my life. So instances like Kylie's may happen less often. CDC data shows that the number of valley fever cases in California has risen steadily over the past quarter century. In 1998, the state reported just over 700 cases. In 2024, there were more than 12,000.